Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back. And joining us this morning to talk about an annual tradition uh, is Beth Hoffman, administrator at Hoffman Hospice, here to talk more about Line Up a Life. Uh, good morning, Beth. It's so great to see you this morning. Um, let's just first talk a little bit about uh, what Light, uh, Light Up a Life is, is all about. Uh, Light Up a Life is our annual event where you purchase a symbolic light uh, that uh, in memory of a loved one and the names are read. What's making it a little bit different this year is we're going to ha be have it at our hospice home outside, of course, and we have frontliners uh, reading the names this year. Those people mm. that have been on the front lines uh, all year uh, with the pandemic. So yeah. uh, we're looking forward to that. And my staff has uh, volunteered to hold, hold the candles. Mm -hmm. Uh, in representation of the lives we'll be reading this year. You can't sugarcoat it. I mean, it's been a rough year. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we've seen so many people lose loved ones this year. Um, and it's just a, it, it's, it's been a really difficult time for so many people. Why do you think this is a, I mean, obviously this is a unique year for so, for so many reasons, but why do you think this event is even, is even more special, especially this year? Well, this year we have heard uh, so many stories of people who have not uh, had a chance to say goodbye uh, personally. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, and then we've had those that have had sudden losses. And so uh, we just felt at Hoffman Hospice that it was extremely important to have this event this year. Uh, and my staff uh, is looking forward to it as they do every year. What we'll get, what we'll miss, is the the gathering of families that we've seen year after year. Of course. Yeah. Uh, but it, it it's an event that's important, and we'll be reading the names, and you can uh, watch that uh, uh, on YouTube. Just go to our website at hoffmanhospice.org, and that kind of explains it all. No, it's always a moving event to see, um, to see all of those candles, especially, you know, of course, it happens at night when it's dark and you can see all those lights and so forth. Uh, what do you want to tell people? Talk, talk to people about, uh, you know, if, if they may hesitate coming out and because it might be too difficult for them to, uh, to think about their loved one. It might, it might, you know, especially during this holiday time. What is your message to them? You know what, during the holiday time, it's exceptionally tough. This will be the uh, holiday, uh, sometimes the very first holiday for these uh, folks. And you know what, grief is always about love. And so they'll have an opportunity to uh, hear their loved one's name, purchase a light that will stay lit on the hospice home. Uh, and uh, it, it's a good way to remember uh, a loved one um, and cherish those memories because that's what, uh, it's all about. Absolutely. You know, this always happens at the beginning of the holiday season. Um, mm -hmm. It's happening on Sunday. Uh, can you, uh, is there still time for people to, to purchase a, uh, a, a candle? It's happening December 1st, which is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving oh, at Tuesday. 6 p.m. Okay. And absolutely, they can just uh, text LIGHT2020 to 56525, or they can just uh, call our office at 410-1010. Okay, perfect. So we'll post all this information on our website as well, uh, just so that you have it. Uh, and Beth, thanks so much for joining us this morning. It's great to see you. Yeah, nice to be seen. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with more news after this.